Tomorrow, the Sacramento Republic FC competes in the U.S. Open Cup semifinals. Yeah, a lot of folks excited for this one. They're playing at home against Sporting Kansas City at Heart Health Park. And joining us live, sideline reporter for the game, Jordan Angeli. Thank you so much for uh, making time for us. Brandy, Mike, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be in Sacramento <laughs> yeah. and get to talk about this game. Yeah, well, why don't you fill us in. For a lot of folks who may not even be familiar with why this game is such a big deal, mm -hmm. why all the excitement around it? It is, first off, it's called an Open Cup game, and it is the longest tournament that is ongoing in the United States of any type of sport. This is the 107th edition of the Open Cup. So it is, um, there's a lot of tradition in it. And what is great about it, it kind of gives a little bit of a March Madness feel where everybody can come in no matter what type of team you are. And it's a winner advanced type of tournament. There's a lot on the line and there are teams that have these um, upsets. We call them cup sets here with the US <laughs> Open Cup. Um, not only is there a $300,000 prize for the winner, but they get to go into CONCACAF Champions League, which is an inter-country tournament between North America and the Caribbean. And it's really like the biggest tournament in um, the world that then leads you to this World Cup of clubs um, later on. So it's there's so much on the line and there's su such a rich tradition with this cup. Yeah, and Jordan, you're a sideline reporter, which means we know you are following this and you kind of are watching both teams. What can fans expect from Kansas City, though? Kansas City is one of the most consistent teams in MLS over the last decade or so, and it's really because of their head coach, Peter Vermees, and the mentality that he has instilled. But for Kansas City this year, it's been their worst performance in MLS league play that wow. they've had. They're sitting in last place of MLS. So they're really holding on to this cup run as an opportunity for them to not only win a trophy, but kind of hold on and maybe hopefully jumpstart their their play in MLS. Although they, they're missing a lot of players, a lot of key players uh, in their squad, they have veterans like Graham Zusi, who is an outside back and has the ability from distance. They have Daniel Shallowy, who is a really good runner up top and can be lethal in the box. And then they have a player, um, Johnny Russell is their captain. And this guy uh, is so good on the dribble, good with his left foot and a lot to handle. So this Kansas City com team comes in with a lot on the line. So it sounds like Republic FC could be playing spoiler or a good chance for an underdog story here. Yes, a cup set, right? Um, <laughs> the cup set. Exactly. So Republic, Sacramento Republic FC has already beaten two MLS teams on their way to this semifinal. And I love the way this team plays. Both, um, I think it starts with what happened in the front office. GM and Todd Donovan and owner-operator Kevin Nagel, they, they really restructured this team. About three quarters of the team is new to Sacramento Republic this year, but with some familiar faces. They bring in Rodrigo Lopez, who played for the te team back in 2014, and he is a player who really is the heartbeat of this squad. But with all those new players, it's been incredible to see how quickly they've gelled and the structure that this team plays out of not only gives them a really good defensive shape, but the way that they go forward and attack is a lot to handle for opposing teams because there's a lot of interchanging. There's a lot of mobility. And I think that we could potentially have a I mean, it's exciting that there could be a cup set happening in Sacramento tomorrow night. But the way that this team plays under Mark Briggs is a, a really exciting, fun match and everybody should tune in.